Hello and welcome to part 4 of the series on how to create a chess game with React.js. In this part we are going to finish moving the pieces by making them stick inside of the board and making them snap to a tile when we drop them. So let's start by opening up our chess board. In our chess board we are going to create a ref. So let's start by creating the ref. Um, we are going to put it uh, above the active piece. We are going to say const um, chess board ref equals use ref and we're going to say no and I hope we can use use ref outside of the render function yeah so this should be inside of a regs function component or a custom react hook so this should be inside of this um, function chessboard so let's grab this and put it right here um, and then um, we want to give the chessboard right here which is this one a ref of chess board ref so, and now we can access our chessboard by just saying chessboard ref dot and then accessing its variables so let's see um let's first look if we can access the chessboard ref right here no we cannot okay so one thing um that we are going to do is we are going to move all this code the active piece grab piece move piece drop piece into our um function right here and the reason is is because then we can access the chessboard ref and we will need that so i'm just going to save this up and then look if everything still works we can drag pieces we can drag pieces outside of the board we can drag pieces on here on there yeah okay so this is working um so what we want to do is we want to constrain the pieces to stay within the board so to do that we are going to look in the move piece function and we want to um, put a constraint in it. So, if the x is smaller than the left side of the board, we want to not use the client x anymore. So let's look um, right here. We want to say const min x is the minimal x value that it needs equals, um, and then we are going to say chessboard ref dot current, and then we want to say style and then left. So as you can see right now, we get an error because the chessboard might be um, possibly null. But to fix this, we want to make sure that the use ref is of type HTML element. And now when we save this, we can access the current. And let's see. Um, we can access the style. And as you can see, it did a nullable check right here. So the current might be nullable. Um, and then we can access the left variable right here. So this is not really nice because if it is null and we still uh, try to access this tile, we get an error. So to fix this, uh, we are going to make sure that it is not null. Um, so we're going to say const chessboard equals chessboard ref dot current. And right here we're going to say if our um, active piece is not null and our chessboard is not null, then we want to access the chessboard tile. Dot left. So now, as you can see, the question mark is gone because we do a notable check right here. That's nice. Um, so now we want to, uh, let's see, we have the minimal value for the x. We also want to do the same for the y. We're going to say top and min y. Um, and then we want to check if the um, x and the y is smaller than this number. Um, so right here, we do get an error. Okay, so the error we have right here is because um, our div is not of type HTML element, but it needs to be more specific. It is actually an HTML div element. So, if we save this up and refresh the page, we'll see that our page is loading again. Um, and now we can actually try to implement our um, uh, constraint. So we're going to say parse int. So we get the integer number of this. And then right here as well, parse int, like so. Um, and then we want to check if x is smaller than that or x is bigger than that. So um, let's see. Um, we can do this two ways. I'm first going to show you the easy way. Uh, we can do this like so. I'm just going to comment this out for now. Um, we can say if um, x is smaller than minus x or minimum amount of x, then we want to. Um, Put the active piece on the 
minus x uh, minimal x value otherwise we want to put it on the normal x value like so so let's see how this looks if we save this up and we drag a piece it's only uh, the horizontal axis right now but when we go to here it um it still uh, continues okay so let's see um what our min x is actually so i don't um, actually know what it is um it might be a really small number i hope not because uh, it's it's not a number okay nice so we cannot work with it let's see um chessboard.started left let's just not parse the number um ah but then we get that error okay so right here we're going to say chessboard.file.left we're just going to lock that so hopefully we get we get an empty string okay so how do we get the minimal value right here from the board and the maximum value okay so instead of accessing the style value we want to just access the chessboard and if we look in our console when we move a piece we get the chessboard element and right here we can say um, we can see the offset so if we scroll a little bit up we see offset left and offset top so those are actually the values that we want to use offset left and offset top like so um, and let's see what this uh, error gives us argument of type number is not assignable to parameter of type string so i think this is already a number so if it is it is that's really nice um so now we can actually already use it so if we save this up let's see if our uh, code will then work we move to the left and yes okay nice so i'm actually trying to move it beyond here but we cannot so that's working um only i think we want to um decrease um, it by 25 pixels so that we can actually touch the side of the board so right here uh, instead of saying minus x we want to say or well right here let's we say minus 25 pixel or just minus 25 let's refresh and look so this looks really nice um but as i told you before i'm going to show you two methods first one is this method the second one is a little bit more uh, advanced and it's a little bit more complicated to understand but let's try it out so um uh, here we have an if else statement uh, we can also write this but in a one liner so how we are going to do that is we're going to say active piece that style dot left okay. and then we are going to write the um the how do you call this the the if statement i guess then we want to check if x is smaller than minus x question mark first thing that we want to do is the true statement so that's this if it is false then we want to do this like so um okay um so i'm going to break it down real quickly we have here the normal um assignment we're going to try to assign the left value of the uh, active piece here we have our statement here we have the true part so if x is actually smaller than the minimal x then we want to execute this if x is not smaller so if this uh, this is false then we want to execute this so it's actually the same as the if else statement but um it's just in one line and let's see the auto format didn't put it in one line so let's do it like so um, and then we can remove this and um, we can do the same for the for the y value so i'm just going to grab this um y is smaller than minus y then we want to use the minus y and otherwise the y value and right here we're going to change left with top like so um and actually one thing i'm noticing is um right here we assign something this is not good <laughs> um so we actually want to remove this part i'm sorry um and this part like so and i'm going to remove this part this part and this backslash like so. um so I, I was already thinking why is it so long but the thing is those um terminal operators that they're called like that are really short okay so we have our started left 
if the uh, x is smaller than minus x, this value will be used. Otherwise, this value will be used. So the way I did it before um, is actually not <laughs> the correct way. This is the good way. So um, to break it down, we'll simply uh, left equals true. Then the um, 5 will be used. And if this is false, the 2 will be used. So that, that's actually all it is. It's simplified. The so true, 5 will be used. False, 2 will be used. True, minus will be used. False, the normal value will be used. So that's how we do this. Um, and let's try and uh, grab a piece, move to the left. We can't move to the top, we cannot move to the right, we can still, and bottom we can also still. So um, we are first going to match the offset top with the offset left, like so. And then we are going to get two new values max x dashboard dot offset, let's see, right, offset left plus dashboard dot width, line to width, yeah. I think so. Um, and const max y equals chessboard dot offset top plus chessboard dot client height. So, so now we have the max values and we also want to use them. Um, so let's see, client style um, if the smaller. So now this might not be um, that readable anymore actually. Yeah, we're just going to write an if statement, I think. If x is smaller than minus x, then we want to use the minus x. Else if x is bigger than max x, then we want to use max x, and else we just want to assign the x to the normal x value. So let's see. Um, right here, we want to assign it to the minus x. Um, and we get an error right here, which is number is not available to. Yeah, okay. Um, so we need to get this, yeah. Um, then we want to check if it is bigger than max x. Then we want to do this, and else we want to just say x, like so. And then we want to do the same for y, uh, like so. If y is smaller than the minus y, or if y is bigger than the maximum y, min y, max y, and the y just in general. So I'm just going to comment this. Um, uh, if x Smaller than minimum amount. Um, right here, if x is bigger than maximum amount, uh, and here if x the constraints. So, whoop. and then right here, well, and right here. Um, but right here we want to say y, y, oh, this d, and y. Okay, so we've added a little bit of comments. So we, um, if we look back at this code, maybe we think, what is this? And now we know what it is. It's always useful to uh, comment on your code. So let's grab the piece. And um, yeah, so the thing we messed up is this uh, should be top, top, and top. So let's save this, refresh the page. And now when we look, move to the left, it's stuck. When we move to the right, it's stuck, but it's a little bit too far stuck. Move to the top, it's stuck. Move to the bottom, it's also stuck, but also just like to the right, um, it's uh, it's going too far. So we are going to fix this uh, just as we did with there. We will say minus 25, minus 25. 25 is a magic number right here. So let's see. Mm, okay, so maybe we need to do minus 75. I think this will be the, the right solution. So let's grab it. Yeah, okay. It cannot go, it cannot go, it cannot go. <sighs> okay, good, so nice. Okay, now our pieces are being constrained to inside of the box. That's really nice. Um, so I think next episode we are going to make the pieces um, snap to the grid when we drop them. Um, and from there on we actually have all the functionality. For, uh, for the user and we can actually start implementing the rules and we can actually try to play the game I'm really excited to implement that I hope you could follow along I hope you've learned something if you did leave a like comment down below and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode bye